Well, uh, first of all, uh, thanks to all of you uh, for joining, uh, both uh, American uh, and Chinese business leaders. Uh, you know, President Hu and I have had some excellent discussions last night uh, in uh, a smaller dinner uh, and then uh, this morning uh, with our respective teams. Uh, but we very much believe that uh, in order for uh, the U.S.-China relationship to deepen and to grow, uh, that it can't just be a matter of government-to-government uh, -government context. Uh, and uh, there has been no uh, sector uh, of our societies that have been stronger proponents of uh, U.S.-China uh, relations than the business sector. And so uh, I'm very pleased that uh, we have some of uh, America's top businesses uh, here. Uh, many of them have a longstanding uh, relationship with China, uh, have been uh, selling American goods, uh, promoting uh, American services uh, in China. Uh, and they, I think, can testify to uh, the benefits that the United States uh, obtains from uh, strong relations with China. We've got some Chinese business leaders here who I know uh, are already doing business in the United States, making investments in the United States, engaging in joint ventures in the United States, uh, and helping grow the economy uh, here in the United States. Uh, I know they're interested in finding uh, ways that they can expand their activities uh, in the United States. And so I think our goal here today uh, was to make sure that um, we break out of the old stereotypes that uh, somehow China is simply taking manufacturing jobs uh, and taking advantage of low wages. Uh, the U.S. is importing cheap goods uh, and thereby uh, having cheaper products, but also uh, putting strains on our, our employment base. Uh, the relationship is much more complex than that, uh, and it has much more potential uh, than that. Uh, China is one of uh, the top markets for American exports. Uh, we're now exporting more than $100 billion a year uh, in goods and services to China, and that supports about half a million uh, American jobs from manufacturing to agriculture. Uh, and in fact, our exports to China are growing nearly twice as fast as our exports to the rest of the world. Uh, of course, here in the United States, we've got one of the most open economies in the world, and that makes us a top destination for Chinese exports, uh, but also Chinese investment. Uh, it, it is important, I think, to note that uh, even with China's enormous population, uh, the United States still does more trade with Europe than it does with China. That, I think, gives an indication of the amount of progress that can be made uh, if uh, we are consulting with each other, if we are hearing specifically from businesses in terms of how we can uh, ease uh, some of the uh, frictions that exist in our trading relationship. Uh, and so my hope is that today, in the brief time that we have, we'll be able to hear some concrete ideas uh, about uh, how we make sure that fair, uh, the trade is fair, uh, that there is a level playing field, uh, how can we protect intellectual property? How can we promote innovation? Uh, how can uh, both of our governments uh, remove barriers to trade uh, and barriers to job creation? Uh, and with China's growing middle class, I believe that over the coming years, we can more than double our exports uh, to China and create more jobs here in the United States. Uh, and I'm sure that Chinese business leaders see enormous opportunities uh, here as well. So uh, with that, I'd like to just uh, turn it over briefly to uh, uh, President Hu, and then maybe uh, we can hear from uh, some of the leaders around the table. Business leaders, today it gives me a great pleasure to be here with President Obama and meet with you, business leaders. All of you around this table and your companies are leading performers of the two countries. You have not only made positive contribution to the economic growth of your respective countries, but also to China-US relations. So I wish to offer you 
my sincere appreciation. All business leaders around this table have seized the opportunities presented by the deepening economic globalization. You have been working vigorously to expand market in each other's countries. You have grown your business, but also promoted mutually beneficial cooperation between the two countries. I will cite a set of st st statistics to show how far we have come. In 1979, when we formally established diplomatic ties, our two-way trade was less than 2.5 billion US dollars. But the figure for last year was 380 billion US dollars, which is more than 150-fold increase. Our mutual investment also started from virtually nothing to an accumulation of 70 billion US dollars. The trade and investment cooperation between our two countries have indeed brought real benefits to the people of our countries and important business communities, uh, opportunities for our business communities. According to figures, our two-way trade has brought about 60 billion US dollars of uh, benefits to US consumers. If we look ahead to the future, our trade cooperation enjoys a promising future. Here I have a message to all of you. That is, China is speeding up its transformation of economic growth pattern and economic restructuring. We are focusing our efforts to boosting domestic demand, especially consumer spending. In recent years, China's domestic spending has been growing at a double-digit rate every year. In 2010, our domestic market has surpassed a scale of two trillion US dollars. And here in the United States, you're also working all out to stimulate your economy. President Obama has launched a program to double your exports, both in the dinner last night and in my meeting with President Obama just now, we discussed how to advance economic cooperation between our two countries across the board. We agreed to strengthen our cooperation in the financial, economic, trade, energy, the environment, science and technology, agriculture, infrastructure and many other fields. So indeed, there is a promising future for trade and investment cooperation between our two countries. I do hope that companies from both countries can seize the opportunities, take active actions, and achieve great things. I also have a message to American entrepreneurs. That is, we welcome U.S. companies to China. China follows reform and opening up. We will, as always, try to follow, provide a transparent, just, fair, highly efficient investment climate to U.S. companies and other foreign companies. I also wish to tell you that all companies registered in China are given national treatment. In terms of innovation, products, accreditation, government procurement, IPR protection, the Chinese government will give them equal treatment. Here I also have a message to Chinese entrepreneurs. That is, the Chinese government will, as it has always done, support you in making investments and doing business here in the United States. I hope that you can Continue to be enterprising and creative, and at the same time, don't forget to give back to the local communities. I do believe that President Obama and the U.S. administration will provide a level playing field for Chinese companies doing, making investments here in the United States. To conclude, I wish the companies you represent 
even greater growth in the new year. And I also expect that you can make even greater contribution to promoting trade and investment cooperation between our two countries. And now I'm ready to listen to your views. Thank you.